Anthony Weiner expected to plead guilty in sexting case with Dean. Disgraced former Congressman Anthony Weiner is expected to plead guilty in federal court Friday morning in connection with a sexting scandal involving a teenage girl. Sources familiar with the deal told NBC New York. Weiner, 52, will plead guilty to a charge of distributing obscenities to a minor, and prosecutors will recommend a prison sentence of about two years, the sources said. His attorneys are expected to ask for probation when he appears in federal district court in Lower Manhattan, the sources added. The former politician would also have to register as a sex offender, although a judge could rule otherwise. Weiner, once considered a rising star in the Democratic Party, had represented his congressional district in Brooklyn and Queens for almost 12 years before he stepped down in 2011 after admitting to sending sexually explicit social media messages and texts to women. But the sexting didn't stop, and a series of explicit exchanges continued in early 2016 with a 15-year-old girl from North Carolina. Two highly knowledgeable sources told NBC News in September. Weiner, the estranged husband of Hillary Clinton aide Hume Abedin, allegedly sent pornographic videos and made requests that the girl be nude and masturbate, the sources said. He allegedly used the alias Teat Dog with her. Federal statutes prohibit obscenity involving minors, and convicted offenders generally face harsher statutory penalties than if the offense involved only adults, according to the Justice Department. Dailymail.com published alleged screen grabs of texts sent by Weiner to the girl, whose identity was not disclosed. Weiner in a statement to NBC New York following the story suggested he was the victim of a hoax. While I have provided the Daily Mail with information showing that I have likely been the subject of a hoax, I have no one to blame but me for putting myself in this position, Weiner wrote. I am sorry. He also provided the Associated Press with an email that he says the girl wrote to a teacher recanting her claim. The latest series of sexting allegations is a far cry from Weiner's congressional days, when he became a political star on C-SPAN and MSNBC, championing healthcare reform and other liberal causes. In 2010, he gave a fiery speech from the House floor in support of a bill to aid nine over 11 first responders, rebuking Republicans who sought to silence him. I will not yield to the gentleman. He screamed. In recent years, after falling out of the headlines, Weiner has continued to be the subject of political gossip surrounding his relationship with A. Dutton, who had been a close aide to Clinton for about two decades. The documentary focusing on his sexting scandal called Weiner premiered last year in theaters. Weiner and A. Dutton, who married in 2010, have been estranged since last summer when new accusations came to light that he sent more damning photos and messages. Eventually, reports surfaced that the messages were with the teenage girl. A federal investigation into the case led FBI agents to seize Weiner's laptop. That prompted the feds in October to announce they had found a new batch of emails on the computer that appear to be pertinent to a previous investigation into Clinton's use of a private server while she was Secretary of State. In May, while FBI Director James Comey explained his decision to senators for why he reopened the Bureau's investigation into Clinton's emails, he testified that A. Dutton forwarded hundreds and thousands of emails to Weiner, including classified information. But a week later, he acknowledged grossly overstating the number. Weiner unsuccessfully ran for mayor of New York City in 2005 and then in 2013, after he hoped to put the initial texting scandal and his resignation from Congress behind him. But a few months before the Democratic primary, a new string of sexting accusations came to light when it was revealed he used the alias Carlos Danger and admitted to sending messages to at least three women the year before. One of the women identified herself as a 23-year-old from Indiana named Sidney Leathers. Despite pressure to bow out of the race, Weiner, with a bedden by his side, famously vowed to fight on. However, he finished fifth in a packed Democratic field 